Yeah, no. What up guys and welcome back to another one. And welcome back to another Foul Friday. That's what today is. Y'all have been requesting more and more and more and more Foul Fridays and I told you we're not gonna quit doing them. We are ramping them up here, getting everybody's blood pumping for the season to come because it will be here shortly. But today's video, as you probably can already tell, you know what it's about. It's about what's in Bobby's blind bag. It's a video I've never done. And one of you actually suggested it just last week and I was like, that's a good idea. That's gonna be the next Foul Friday. So before we get to uh, looking what's in that big old boy, yeah. Look at it, it's absolutely stuffed. I have no idea how much that bad boy weighs. Actually, let's find out real quick. I've always wondered what it weighs. What do I weigh first? I weigh 196. On every hunt, especially the hunts that you have to carry everything in, you don't get to drive in, I'm always like, how much does my blind bag weigh? Whew. Wow, yeah, 25 pounds. <laughs> As a lot of you can imagine, with uh, the filming, cameras, SD cards, GoPros, calls lanyards uh i mean shells chokes gun oil everything all the above honestly you can only imagine what all's in here i think i forgot what all's in there so i actually need to go through it and clean it out for this coming season because if i don't it's probably just going to remain a mess and i'll regret not cleaning out so this is a good video if you haven't watched the pigeon videos we got a pigeon loft and it's awesome and we have a bunch of feral pigeons in it they are just a chillin' today, as you can tell. Just loving life in the old backyard loft. But before we get into the blind bag video, I'm gonna have to go to the truck stop real quick. We gotta check the pigeon traps. I can't leave them alone very long, you know what I mean? So, we're gonna go check on the pigeons very quickly, and then we'll get into what's in this bad boy. Well, well, well. Nothing in there today, boys nothing still full of wheat though check how much wheat's still in there a ton nothing in the spring trap either i don't know what's going on it's really slowed back down i think there's only one thing to do i think on an upcoming video we're gonna have to take one of the pigeons out of the loft and we're gonna have to use it as a live decoy in the big trap that's that's the only thing to do oh goodness that's a big bag, y'all. I forget what all I actually have in this bad boy. <sighs> but let's open it up and see. Um, yeah. <laughs> a lot of you guys know that I carry a lot of ammo a lot of times. It's cold here in Kansas, so cold gear, gloves. Yeah, let's just get into it here. First thing out the bag is my uh, calls and my lanyard. Uh, I got all my ducks, duck calls on here. By the way, if you want to pick up a duck's lanyard or a duck's duck call, or goose call for that fact. I will link them down below. Moving on, got a good old pair of gloves. These are actually Gore-Tex gloves. I bought them uh, the beginning of last season. They, yeah, gloves for me, they don't last. I have no idea why my Fox Pro is in there. Probably, I don't know. I just threw it in there. My bag and stuff was in the truck. I was out trying to do some Coyote hunting. We'll put that over there. That's not necessary for waterfowl. Then we got a uh, headlamp that's seen better days. Good old headlamp. One of them off Amazon that has the battery pack in the back. Um, I've had some luck with those. These are like the $20, $25 ones off Amazon. Some luck. I think I went through two of them last year. Not the best luck. Told you I bought a pair of Sitka gloves. Here they are. I loved them absolutely loved them best glove i've ever ever worn but you guys can imagine how many days out of the waterfowl season i'm actually hunting it's a lot wore these bad boys through i mean blew that one out a lot of this a lot of this guys the wear and tear on gloves isn't from hunting it's from decoys running uh, a lot of socks, running a lot of uh, stakes in and out of the ground. Hard frozen ground, running stakes in and out for full bodies. Hard on gloves. It will tear gloves up. Uh, here we go. Here's a GoPro. There we go. Got a sock on the top of it to try to deflect the wind. And then we got a strap, head mount strap for the GoPro. I don't even know. Oh boy. Look at this. Oh, look at that. We got some pigeon jerky in there from Jordan, not even open. I'm going to have to crack the seal on that bad boy, that's for sure. 
Uh, well, there we go, another GoPro. Jeez, how many GoPros do I have in here? Like I said, I have no idea what all's in here. An empty water bottle. All right, now we're getting into some good stuff. Look at that. Oh, one of the best blind snacks in the world. The Dots pretzels. I didn't even know I had them bad boys in here. I think they're still good. They've been open. That's not good. Oh, Dots pretzels. If you guys have been looking for a new blind snack, Dots pretzels. I'm telling you. Dots pretzels. They're not normal pretzels, y'all. They got a bunch of salt and a bunch of butter on them. So, moving on. We got some federal ammunition, and we have a ton of federal ammunition just scattered everywhere. This is, uh, I haven't showed you guys this. This is federal snow goose load. Little white shell, three inch, number two, ounce and a quarter. My favorite shell in the world. Man, this bad boy needs some cleaning. Another box of shells. Another box of, half box of shells. Then we just have an absolute ton of ammo laying in this bad boy. Got some dykes, little pair of dykes. Never know when you might need some uh, little nippers. Got a lot of ammunition in here. Well, total, y'all. Total, we have about, I don't know, four boxes of shells in there pretty easily. Another bottle of water. Then I got, check it out, oh here we go, got a bunch of ducks decals, hand out to the fellas that want some in the blind, that's always nice. What else we got? What's this here? Ooh, barely used, just dirty. Ducks beanie, always got to have an extra ducks beanie. What's this? Oh man, these are nasty. Oh, well, always need, I guess, two ducks beanies. <laughs> More ammunition. Okay, moving on. So that's kind of the, the bulk of what's in the body of the bag there. Uh, yeah, I, I think I took my knife out. I had a knife, I had a little hand saw, foldable hand saw. Those are two things that I would recommend carrying in your blind bag. But here we go, we got an extra battery for my old big camera. What else we got here? Here we go. Got gun lube. Guys, guys, always 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 have gun lube in your bag you have to most one of the most important things you should have and what do we have here we got a couple chokes this is a modified choke we got some waiter cuffs check them bad boys out whenever i wear waiters i always use these waiter cuffs on the bottom of my pants so your pants don't curl up on your leg when you put your legs in your waiters these things are clutch i'm telling you right now I've been using waiter cuffs for a lot of years. Then, what else do we have in here? Oh, we just got some gun tools. We got a choke extractor there that's obviously seen better days. Yeah, it got broke. We got a GoPro mount. I usually mount that on a pole behind us. I usually have a GoPro running behind us on a pole. So, mount for that. And then if it's a smaller pole, I got a smaller mount for a GoPro. And then I got some more GoPro hardware. And then here, if you guys ever run cameras, GoPros, cameras, big cameras, small cameras, any camera that takes SD cards, I always carry this with me. This uh, has all my backup SD cards in it. Keeps all my footage all organized at all times. Oh. I think the 25 pounds worth was all in ammunition. <laughs> but guys, this is everything here. Let's check it out. I'd say definitely our 25 pounds came from the amount of ammunition I carry. That's about four boxes worth. But as you can tell, nothing special here, guys. Headlamp, lanyard and calls. This is the most important thing that you can have in your blind bag, your lanyard and your calls. Two beanies, probably uh, because I'm bad at forgetting beanies. Two pairs of gloves, probably because I'm also bad at losing gloves, so I always carry two. The SD cards, I mean, honestly, just like a normal blind bag. What's, what's different? The only thing that might be different is that I always have filming stuff in mind. GoPros, SD cards, and honestly, a lot of stuff is missing. I think I probably moved a bunch of stuff out into my backpack that I've been using for this summer. 
But once waterfowl season rolls back around, I'm gonna be putting a lot of new stuff in that bad boy. Getting it all ready, like a knife, my hand saw. I mean like tools that I use out in the field that I might need, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know when a gun's gonna jam. You never know when uh, you gotta take a gun apart. You never know when you need pliers for one of the A-frame blinds that might break or something. You know what I mean? But real quick, I am gonna feed the pigeons. There should be plenty. These pigeons, I'm telling you what, they give me something to do before waterfowl season comes here. You guys have actually been liking the videos quite a bit. I mean, I'm having fun with this pigeon loft. It's a lot of fun. I've wanted one for so long. Finally got them. Check them out in here. Easy now. Easy. Easy, fellas. Easy. Check them out. Some of them are in the back chilling. They're finally in that little breeding area back there. Those two little rooms. They've gotten comfy enough. They just chilling here, man. They love it. They aren't comfortable anymore. I have realized one thing though, my food bowl and my water bowl down there, I can't keep it underneath their perches. You know what I mean? Like this one right here, this one, mm-hmm. Because they end up pooping in it. I was always like, stop standing on your bowl and pooping in the bowl, but they're not. They get on their perch and when they poop, the poop falls in the bowl. So, a lot of new things I have to learn with running this loft and keeping it clean and feeding the birds. What do they want to eat? You know what I mean? Trying different foods. But I really do hope that you guys are enjoying the pigeon videos. I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. I really, really hope that you guys are ready for this waterfowl season to come because it's going to be epic. We got the new camera. This one right here, oh yeah. We're gonna have a big old lens, so all the scouting, oh my goodness. All them days that I find huge feeds, massive feeds, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 bird feeds, we'll be able to sit on the road with the big camera and the long, long lens and actually zoom all the way in there and film them, watch them feed, just basically spectate them, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a lot of fun. But thank you all for being here. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up for your boy. If you have any suggestions for Foul Fridays, drop them down below in the comment section. Just like this video, the idea I got from one of y'all last week. So if you have any ideas for these Foul Fridays, drop them down there and we will do them. But again, thank you all for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism. Pessimism.